going on everyone this is going to be our 20 years of bowman break so we are now live i'm going to wait for some more people to get into the room but i'm going to go ahead and share this to twitter right now we should be ready to go here in a second so i already uh, randomized the teams last night i will show those again uh, right before we go but again let me just share this to tw twitter real quick and we should be ready to roll. Okay, yeah, should be ready to roll here. I'm just gonna go ahead and show the teams again. So like I was saying before, um, we are going to be doing this in four parts. So this first video right here, uh, there are your teams. This first um, video, I should say, if I can, um, is going to be in the years 2000 through 2005. So all these boxes right here. So you guys can screen cap capture that. I'm sure you guys already know your teams, but I don't believe there were any trades. I went back and checked. But, uh... Yeah, we should be should be ready to roll. So we're gonna start it off. I'm actually I'll show off all the boxes first. So we got a bunch of boxes up there. Um, we're starting over there with 2,000 Bowman, and then we have all that stuff to go through all the way over there. So tons of stuff to go through. Should be pretty fun. Excited to see what we pull. Just gonna move some stuff around here. So we are starting off um, with that stack right here with 2,000 Bowman. So we're starting it off with the first year, and again, I did uh, I did add um, some 2020 Topps Chrome Sapphire to it. So we'll uh, we'll do that one at the very end, just some icing on the cake right there. But uh, definitely excited for this. Um, we'll start it off with uh, 2,000 Bowman Chrome. So good luck, everyone, on this. Again, this is the first box. Um, I don't believe. I don't believe there were any autographs in this year. I think there were, auto I guess there might have been autographs, but um, I don't know, we will see. I don't think there's anything guar guaranteed in the uh, the earlier stuff. But we're just looking for some nice refractors and you know other stuff like that. So again, good luck everyone. 2000 Bowman Chrome. It looks like we got a jumbo box topper off the front, off the top. Starting off for the Phillies, Pat Burrell. So that's like a jumbo Bowman Chrome card. One of eight. So Pat Burrell for the Phillies. So Phillies getting the first little card right there. And here we go. They had the old checklist back in the day. Let's get out these packs. So interested to see what kind of stuff we can find in a. Hey, what's up, Tim? Yeah, it should be should be fun. I'm, I'm I might be more excited for this than you guys. I've always wanted to do something like this for a while, and I'm definitely excited to see um, how this goes. I'm wondering if some of the older packs will kind of stick together as far as the cards go, but we will see. So good luck, everyone. Uh, I do want to uh, relay some house rules before we um, get going. How much did this cost you? Uh, cost me? It was a ton of money. Um, it was pretty expensive per spot, but all I gotta say is it was a lot. Yeah, it, it is gonna be pretty fun. From Omaha, home for College World Series. That's cool. Yeah. So uh, some house rules before we go. Um, this is 20 years of prospects, so they're going to be. Sometimes they'll be in different uniforms. So whatever uniform they are in on the card is that's the uh, the team that they will go for. And uh, some other rules like the the Washington Nationals um, before 2005 they used to be the uh, the Expos. So the, all the Expos cards will go to the um, Nationals, um, so on and so forth. If we hit any dual cards, those will be randomized at the end of the break. Um, can't th think of anything else we need to know, but. Um, should be ready to go, so let's go ahead and get going. Good luck, everyone. Starting off with 2,000 Bowman Chrome. 
from Augusta, Georgia, home of the Masters. <laughs> so 2000 Bowman Chrome. And these things are a little bit stuck together. I figured that some of the older cards would be a little bit stuck together, but we will see. We have Scott Williamson, Pat something, Ramon Solar, probably not Jorge Solar. I don't know, maybe it's related to Jorge Solar. And a Bowman Chrome rookie card for the Mets. Eric something. Eric Kamek. <laughs> I think some of these older boxes, we just have to figure out if we actually know any of the guys in this. Yep, just started. Just started, Mark. So this is that was the very first pack. We are on 2000 Bowman Chrome. This one is upside down, so let's go ahead and flip that. We have Doug Davis, Ray Ordonez, Rico Washington Ricky, and that's a cool one. Um, we have a Josh Hamilton, Josh Hamilton uh, rookie, I believe, back when he was on the Tampa Bay Devil Rays. What's up, Final Flash? We got Final Flash in the room. So Josh Hamilton back when he was on the uh, Devil Rays. So that's pretty. That's pretty fun. So that'll go out to the Tampa Bay Rays. Trying to think about what other rookie cards were in uh, were in this year's Bowman. <laughs> Breaking my balls. <laughs> What's up, Nick? Yeah, Nick, we just uh, we just started. Terrence Long, and there's, they're kind of a little bit, some of them are a little bit stuck together, so I'm going to try to see if we can get that off. <laughs> Rick Ankeel, see so if you remember Rick Ankeel, he um, decided to end up being a, that is, that is a rookie of Rick Ankeel, so definitely put that one aside. Uh, he ended up being a, a hitter as well, so that'll be going out to the Cardinals. You were grabbing dinner, Nick. There you go. We have Todd Walker. <laughs> yeah, final flash. <laughs> we have for the Marlins, Michael Tejera. Marlins. All right, let's try to pick up the pace a little bit. Again, I, I don't believe there are any autographs guaranteed in here, but we're just looking for um, we're just looking for some refractors and such. Thanks. Uh, yep. Hopefully, we'll pull some some nice cards out of here. A Nick Green rookie for the Braves. Ooh, look at this! An insert. Cool insert here. For the Seattle Mariners, that's from a 2000, 2000 Bowman Chrome Alex Rodriguez insert. It's almost like the uh, 55 Bowman TV design. But uh, Alex Rodriguez from 2000 Bowman only had uh, 129 games. I guess I guess he was a couple years in the league by then, but that's kind of a cool card. A-Rod. Watching a few minutes behind and then have to sign off. Yeah, I got gotcha. you. We got a uh, we got a refractor. So some of the refractors actually do um, carry some high uh, high dollar from these early years of Bowman. So we'll see what we can get. Just kind of <laughs> look at that card. I didn't know Jason Worth was a catcher. That's funny. Jason Worth prospect card back when he was on the Orioles. And our our refractor is going to be Troy Glaus. Troy Glaus refractor. It's the old Angels logo up there. So going out to the LA 
Los Angeles Angels of Anaheim, Troy Glouse. I, I am not sure who we are looking for in this. I think it's just some, uh, just looking for kind of like some refractors and color and stuff. I don't remember who was the rookies in here. I didn't look at all the checklists, but I don't know, we'll see. We got Tony Clark. Uh, Carl Crawford. That's kind of cool. Carl Crawford. So there's a prospect, Carl Crawford. That's going out to the Rays. So Rays getting a couple cards. Yeah, not who are you looking for? <laughs> we have Luis Castillo, uh, Steve Fish on the Angels. Kind of like Mike Trout on the Angels, only it's uh, Steve Fish. <laughs> And then an older one there, Aramis Ramirez. So Aramis Ramirez, he had a decent little career. Um, Pirates. It's funny that a lot of these prospect cards, the, all the guys are pretty much like retired. All right, let's see what else we can pull. Christian Guzman. Craig... Uh, Dingman, MJ Gold, and Juan Guzman. All right, let's see if we can uh, pick up the, uh, maybe get some more cool cards in here. There's another cool one. A-Rod on the Mariners, so getting a couple A-Rod cards. Presley. Yeah, a lot of these are just kind of stuck together, just because it's uh, it's been in a box for 20 years. Uh, here's another another kind of insert, Humberto Cota for the Pirates. Yeah, hoping that there uh, there won't be any redemptions tonight. Um, I don't believe we've hit any Red Sox yet, Brickner. Uh, it is just the first box though, so we will see. Adam Kennedy and Scott Downs. We have Tino Martinez, Mariners prospect, Jimmy Rollins. It's kind of cool. Jimmy Rollins prospect card. And oh, here's kind of a cool one. Cool insert here. That is going to be Ivan Pudge Rodriguez, Teen Idol. So he is the, he's now the uh, the Hall of Famer, Pudge Rodriguez. So that's a cool card. So it'll be going out to the Texas Rangers. I think Nick, um, Nick had the Rangers. I want to say. Juan Soto's first Bowman was. <laughs> he he was one years old, but Bowman knew, yeah. <laughs> yeah, go Rangers for uh, for Nick. Diaz, Toby Hall, and Mateo. Oops, sorry about that. We got a ooh, we got a little something back there. I don't know if that's gold. Or if that's just an insert, but we will see. Uh, there were not any trades. Robin Ventura. Uh, Brandon Phillips. <laughs> that's kind of cool. So he's still playing. I believe so. So we found a guy, a rookie card that's still playing. So that'll be going out to the Washington Nationals. Yeah, Mark, I, I do not believe there are any trades. Um, Alex Escobar and... Is this a gold or is this just an insert? I think this is just an insert, but uh, Adam Piat, <laughs> bidding for the call. I don't know if he ever got the call. I don't remember uh, Adam. Yeah. <laughs> 
his bidding didn't go so well. Grabkowski. <laughs> and we have another insert. Ty Howington. So that'll be going off to the Cincinnati Reds. Tim says the Giants are still available. Yeah, I guess you guys you guys can still trade if you really want. I mean, I know we've already... Ooh, we got another uh, refractor in here, so good luck on this. <laughs> Boy, I guess they uh, I guess they still had the correlation issues with Tops back in the day. That is our second Troy Glouse refractor for the Angels. <laughs> so I guess uh, we're getting duped on the uh, Troy Glouse. Yeah, Ryan, uh, I am excited for for what uh, what we have in store for this right here. Barry Larkin. Jason Grilly. That's kind of cool. And Roberto Vaz. I don't remember R Roberto Vaz at all, but he's on the athletics. Yeah, it is... That is true. There's just uh, there's so many uh, there's so many things that kind of go into uh, into trading just because there's 20 years of prospects and stuff. Uh, rookie class of 2000, Corey Patterson. He'll be going out to the Chicago Cubs. Um, I I originally said I was going to do part of this break on Saturday, but um. You know, if I'm if I'm feeling up to it, I might do it all tonight. It depends. Um, kind of depends on how <laughs> if I'm really up to it, because you know it'll probably be, oh there's a CC Sabathia. That's a cool one. So CC Sabathia, I think he was one of the guys we were looking for. So that is a CC Sabathia, uh, first Bowman prospect for the Cleveland Indians. So that's a cool looking card. JJ Davis and oh that's actually a refractor so a refractor insert of Ramon Santiago <laughs> baseball on TV cold one yeah what 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 a playoff game is on right now I wasn't uh, paying attention to what was on tonight Corey Myers Oh, that's kind of cool. Here's a nice one for the Atlanta Braves. That is going to be an insert. Uh, metric Rise, Chipper Jones. Or, medi or what does that say? Medi meteorotic? Something like that. But that is actually a cool card. It looks like it's in pretty good condition, too. Ooh, Astros are ahead. Yeah, that actually looks really clean. So, uh... Let me sleeve this one up right away. I don't know how much, if that's like a rare insert or anything, but to get a uh, Chipper Jones um, insert from 2000 is pretty cool. It looks like it's in really good shape, too, so um, that could be kind of a cool one if you grade it. <laughs> Mariners are on my TV from 1975. Yeah. Well, they, they weren't even, uh, Nick, they weren't even a team in 1975, so, you know... <laughs> Yeah, did you guys uh did you guys know that um the Sonics the Sonics were actually in the playoffs um last before the Mariners were cuz the <laughs> the Mariners were in the play last time they were in the playoffs was 2001. And uh, yeah, when this stuff was coming out, the Mariners were actually a good team. <laughs> That's kind of funny. And then the Sonics uh the Sonics made the playoffs. Um I don't remember when they made the playoffs, but yeah, I know, Nick. I got gotcha. you. Yeah, the uh, the chipper is a nice card. Here's another Pudge Rodriguez for the Texas Rangers. Felipe Lopez. And Cesar Seba. Insert for the Boston Red Sox. <laughs> Just rubbing salt in the wound, yeah. Kurt Schilling. <laughs> AJ Burnett. 
he had a decent little career. This is when uh, Burnett was back on the Marlins. Oh, yeah. Man, I almost feel bad for Minnesota because you guys make the playoffs. It seems like you guys make the playoffs a lot, but you just can't win in the playoffs. That's the thing. I don't know if I'd even... If it's better to not make the playoffs at all or to make the playoffs and uh, lose. <laughs> yeah, there might be a... John Hamilton, not Josh Hamilton. I want to say um, our next box... Our next box is going to be 2001. This is actually uh, one of the ex more expensive boxes. I'm pretty sure there might be some Miguel Cabrera stuff in this. Um, so in, this is going to be our next box right here, 2001 um, Bowman. So um, whoever has the Cardinals in this, there is uh, the potential for an Albert Pujols autograph in this that goes for about $2,000. So we'll see if we can pull uh, an uh, Albert Pujols first Bowman auto. Um, there's also Ichiro rookies in here, so we can pull an Ichiro rookie, Albert Pujols rookie. There is some Miguel Cabrera stuff. I'm just going to uh, I'm going to take a picture of uh, this Chipper Jones, just because I want to kind of take some pictures of stuff as we go. So I thought that'd be kind of cool. So give me one second here, and then we should be. Actually, you know what? I'll just do that after. Twins one top prospect the last 15 years. <laughs> Alright, here we go, everyone. 2001 Bowman, so moving up one year. Interested to see what kind of stuff we can pull out of here. So I don't think we are guaranteed any autographs, but there is a, there is a chance of autographs and relics in this box. So we will see if we can pull something like that. Yeah, it says look for autographs from top prospects. So we could pull something of Ichiro or uh, Albert Pujols, something like that, Miguel Cabrera, or uh, reprint memorabilia cards. Game seven. Yeah, that'll be interesting. So. We'll see if these ones might be stuck together. I'm not entirely sure, but we will see. 2001, 2001 Bowman. Oh, we have a, I think we have a relic right off the bat. We might have a, a hit right off the bat. Alfonso Soriano. And yes, it does look like we have some. Ooh, that's actually kind of cool. Um, Colorado Rockies. That is an authentic game-used jersey, base, and helmet. So they got, uh, who is that, Ben? Who is this, Ben Petrick? I'm not sure if he turned out to be anything, but Colorado Rockies, that's actually kind of a cool hit. <laughs> yeah, so they got a, a piece of the game-used base, a piece of his game-used helmet, and a piece of his uh, game used jersey. So that's actually kind of a cool card. I don't honestly know if it's really worth too much, but um, that's a pretty cool card. So, the other part of the pack, we also had an Alfonso Soriano, Jeff Bagwell, Cho Freeman, and uh, CC Sabathia. Is that still a prospect card? Yeah, this is a so we got two we've gotten two CC Sabathia prospect cards so far, Cleveland Indians. It's kind of funny that they uh they had the uh, the first card like face up back in the day. David Kelton Mike Piazza, I think that's just a uh, a veteran card. Johnny Damon. <laughs> Another CC Sabathia prospect card. So this is our... So the Indians <laughs> might be one of the best teams so far. CC Sabathia, another prospect. 
He should be probably a Hall of Famer, I would think. Yeah, I know. Get out the blow dryer. Yeah, some of them are kind of uh, stuck together. You got to kind of see them here. Jorge Posada. Alex Centrone. Oh, that's actually kind of cool. Uh, Jose Reyes. Jose Reyes rookie card. I want to say I was looking at that one, and the uh, the PSA 10 of this one actually goes... Um, actually sells for a decent amount of money, like 70 80 bucks. So, a good tip for you guys, if you're putting stuff in soft sleeves, if you kind of go back and forth on the sleeve right there, it kind of opens it up, and so it'll just slide right in like that. So, Jose Reyes. <laughs> Reyes is who we're looking for. Yeah. Jeff Jenkins, Kurt Schilling, Blake Williams, Felipe Lopez. Chad Petty. <laughs> yeah, some of these are kind of uh, a little bit stuck together, but we will see. Rob Rahas. <laughs> Jake Peavy. Cal Repkin. It's kind of cool. Nothing crazy in that pack. Randy Johnson. You think PV is a rookie card in this? Joaquin Benoit. Mark Burley. Jason Kendall. And Scott Rowland. Did I miss the Jake PV or are you just talking about a Jake PV? I will pretty much ship most of everything though. I did miss it. Oh yeah. <laughs> On the Padres. Yeah, that is that is a rookie. It's not it's a little bit beat up right there, but that is a rookie, so we'll uh, we'll put it in the recap at the end for the Padres. And they spelled his name wrong. <laughs> huh. That's funny. Bubba Crosby. That's a fun name, Bubba Crosby. Greg Maddox. Abraham Nunez. Something kind of stuck together. John Buck. There's four uncorrected error cards. Are there really? Oh, that's kind of funny. Yeah, we haven't seen a, we haven't seen a what am I trying to say? An Ichiro. Boy, these are these ones are really kind of stuck together. Tracy, Mark Burley, David Kelton, Barry Zito. Yeah, with it being so old, sometimes they do get a little bit stuck together. Pedro Feliz has no uh, facsimile. You think Miggy's the biggest one? We might have uh, something. What is this? What is this card? Is this like a, uh, a reprint? That's kind of cool, actually. Gil Hodges. So that's going out to the Dodgers. 
So that's a 1949 reprint. So that's actually kind of cool. From 2001 Bowman. Jermaine Dye. I remember Jermaine Dye. It's kind of funny all the names that uh, you see with this kind of stuff. You kind of remember. Toby Hall. David Justice. Andy Tracy. Andrew Jones. Tim Hudson. Adam Everett and Brandon Inge. Brandon Inge, uh, prospect for the Tigers. Yeah, I want to see some. Uh, I want to see some um, Pujols or Ichiro in this, or maybe some Miguel Cabrera. Or Richie Ashburn, another uh, 1948 Bowman reprint. So Richie Ashburn, I think that's Phillies, right? Philadelphia Phillies, Richie Ashburn, so cool card for the Phillies. Mariano Rivera, that's kind of cool. Ken Griffey Jr. as well, so Mariano Rivera and Ken Griffey Jr. <laughs> Tim Raines Jr. <laughs> There's a, uh, a Brandon Phillips back when he's on the Expos. So that'll be going out to the Washington Nationals. Matt Williams. Jared Sandberg. All right, so this has definitely not been a uh, anything crazy so far. So let's see if we can maybe try to pick it up here a little bit. Yeah, some of these are just really kind of stuck together. Hopefully it's not like that with some of the other years. A-Rod, <laughs> that's kind of a cool card. A-Rod on the Texas Rangers. Texas Rangers A-Rod. Adrian Beltre on the Dodgers. Pat Burl. Cliff Floyd. <laughs> Jason Worth, look at this card. A very young Jason Worth. He's on the Blue Jays in that one, so going out to the Blue Jays. Gabe Kapler, he is the uh, wasn't he the uh, the manager for the he was the manager for the Rangers, wasn't he? He might have been. All right, hoping that we pull uh, an Ichiro. An Ichiro or a Pujols here, or maybe even a Miguel Cabrera. Let's see if we can pull one of those. Grady Sizemore. Grady Sizemore was a uh, was a huge prospect back in the day. Ended up going to the Indians. Didn't really pan out too much, but um, he was a he was a pretty big prospect. All right, a couple more packs here. And we'll get into 2002. Yeah, he did. He did run into a, a few injuries. Um, I think we've hit a few, we've hit a few Astros cards. Nothing like uh, refractors or anything like that. Um, but again, this is just the second box of the break. So we got what, like 25 more boxes. So we definitely should be uh, hitting some strows. 
Is that a is that Rays and Astros game almost over? I haven't really been paying attention to it much. Derek Jeter, that's kind of a cool card. 2001 Bowman Derek Jeter for the New York Yankees. We also had an Adrian Gonzalez uh, prospect for the Marlins. Is it really 7 to 2 now? Huh, so it's going to be game 7. Yeah, I was really pulling for the uh, the Rays in that one, but I guess it'll be going to a game 7. I wonder who will be pitching tomorrow for them. <laughs> Miguel. Oh yeah, that should be Miguel Olivo, not Miguel Olivo. Maybe that's one of the errors. I don't know. Maglio Adornias. Adam Kennedy, Orlando Cabrera, not Miguel Cabrera. Was it Phillies? Jim Tomei. So he managed. Yeah, yeah. He was he was the Phillies manager, and then he got fired, and then he uh, and then he went over to um, the Giants. <laughs> here's another uh, here's another manager on the topic of managers. Rocco Baldelli. Where was he a manager at? I don't remember. I'm not, I don't think he's still managing managing anywhere, but I'm pretty sure he was one. J.D. Drew. Gary Johnson. Oh, is he really? Yeah, I think I think he was uh he did pretty good with them. Was he was he manager of the year last year? Okay. Yeah, I want to say, like, um, he was received pretty well. I just didn't remember what team uh, he managed on. Yep, Berkner. Man, it's kind of been, uh, ever since that hit, we haven't really gotten much, so... Hoping that one of these last little packs will uh, maybe save this box right here. Craig Vigio, Manny Ramirez, Mike Myers, famous for his Halloween movie. Victor Hall, Carlos Zambrano. <laughs> isn't that a, isn't that a guy in Bowman this year? Luis Matos. I'm pretty sure he's uh he's the uh I mean obviously not the same guy but I'm pretty sure that's a guy in uh, 2020 Bowman Chrome. That uh. And that's pro is that that's not actually Alex Gordon is it? That's I think that's a different Alex Gordon. I don't know, lots of other names in here. Alright, last two packs. Hoping that we can uh, maybe try to salvage this a little bit. Haven't pulled anything yet. Ben Petrick at 322 in 52 games in 2000 and then never hit above. Did he really? Never hit above 238. Huh. Yeah, I, I hadn't heard of a, I hadn't heard of that guy before, so I guess he had a little bit of a, a little bit of experience, but other than that, Sun Woo Kim, Sean Casey, now on uh, MLB Network, Vladimir Guerrero Sr. For the uh, Expos now on the Nationals. Sun Woo, that good old Sun Woo Kim. All right, last pack of this box right here. Hopefully we can uh, we can uh, get something here. Harper, Rick, and Keel. Boy, these ones are just really uh, stuck together. Uh, Jeff Bagwell. Alfonso Soriano, Vernon Wells, 
and J.C. Romero. So nothing crazy over the top in there. I'm just going to sleeve up a couple of cards right here just so uh, I can I, I can do a, uh, a recap at the end just in the last couple boxes. I just want to sleeve up some of the better cards as we go. So next up is going to be 2002 Bowman. And uh, I do believe this is the first one where we do get um, guaranteed hits. I want to say 2005 Bowman was the uh, 2005 Bowman was the first year that you could pull like a super factor or anything, but um, I'm pretty sure 2002 was the first year that you get guaranteed get hits. Sunwoo Kim was part of the second biggest trade between the Red Sox and Expos. Was he? What a! Uh, I don't remember that trade. What was uh? What was the trade? We we haven't gotten a lot of CC Sabathia. I'll tell you that much. I'm getting our two uh, Troy Glaus refractors. Brandon Phillips back when he was on the Expos. Pudge Rodriguez. Just a couple more here to go, and then uh, we'll move on to 2002, 2002 Bowman. All right. Sungwoo Kim and... Seung Song for Cliff Floyd. That trade is talked about. Oh, it is? Okay. I got you on that. And Moneyball. Yeah, that's kind of cool. Alright, here we go. 2002 Bowman. Oh, it looks like we have a... Uh... Oh, what is this? I think we have a, an autograph card... Like right off the bat, it's just in a uh, it's <laughs> it's in an old top loader. So that'll be going out to the Houston Astros, Morgan Ensberg. That was just right off the top, sitting on the top of the box right there. So our first auto <laughs> going out to the Houston Astros, Morgan Ensberg. So I don't know if there's another autograph that's in the packs or if it's just this one right here. It looks like we also have kind of like a silver pack or something like that. So. We'll see, uh, he used this sticker when completing your set. We'll see uh, what else we can pull in here. Just a couple checklists. Alright, 2002. These are actually, it'll be nicer, these are actually thicker packs. I think this is an HTA box. I, I want to say, yeah, look for HTA only autographed game used base relic cards. So this is actually an HTA box. I think I think in the description I just put a regular Bowman box, but uh, this is actually an HTA box. So congratulations, you have an HTA box instead. So we get some thicker packs in here. I'm um, starting off with a silver pack. <laughs> Nick, you want the sticker? Okay, I'll I'll give you the sticker, Nick. <laughs> Not sure what is in here. Oh, is this for redemption? Uncirculated first year. <laughs> Expires in 2002. I think <laughs> it's only 18 years expired. They might have just put those in every single box, though. But, um... That kind of sucks. Oh, we got another uh, random stat by Brickner. Morgan Ensberg finished fourth in MVP voting in 2005, helping him lead to the Astros to the World Series, where they lost to the White Sox in the first World Series in 88 years. Huh. Yeah, they, I, I'm pretty sure. I'm pretty sure Nick they put these in every box, but I'm not entirely uh, sure. So, I'm pretty sure we're guaranteed something in here. It is an HTA box, so good luck everyone on this. If I can get these dang things open. And these are some hard packs to open. There we go. Alright, 
right, let's see what we got. Kevin Brown. Yeah, it is, uh, it is nice to get back to, like, some HTA stuff. Travis Hafner. Is this, no, this is just a thick card. I thought it was two cards stuck together, but that's just a little bit thicker stock. That's a gold. Um, a gold for the Mariners. Not like a uh, gold refractor or anything, but... Uh, Grant Balfour. That's interesting. I wonder why there was uh, two Grant Balfours back-to-back. -back. Um, I guess they're two rookie cards. I don't think there's anything different with them. Pretty sure it's just the same card, but I'll put both of them aside just in case. <laughs> Johnny Gomes, rookie for the Rays. I thought it was almost John Lester there, but it's Joe Jester. <laughs> <laughs> Mark says thanks for the, uh, the stats. Yeah, Brickner was uh, Brickner was giving me some giving me some stats the other night in our uh, in our other break. I think there is you know, there might be something in here. We'll see though. We're getting our fair share of CC Sabathia cards. <laughs> Look at that! We hit a Ronald Acuna. Wow, I didn't know Ronald Acuna was in uh, 2002 Bowman. <laughs> Is that his dad? I guess that probably would be his dad. Because of Ronald Acuna Jr. I'll put that one aside just because. Oh, look at, we also hit a James Harden. Wow, look at, he sure changed, uh, he sure looks different without the beard. <laughs> James Harden back when he was on the Oakland Athletics, who knew? See what else we got in here. Larry Barnes. <laughs> Ronald Acuna isn't even on baseball reference. <laughs> ben Broussard, I remember him. Chad Qualls. He was a reliever for a little while for the Rockies, a couple other teams. Taylor Buckholtz. Ryan Rayburn. <laughs> a couple old names in here. The year 1999, Ronald Acuna hit a home run and had nine months later. <laughs> nine months later came out Ronald Acuna Jr. Well, thank you for the uh, the stat. <laughs> Search on Google for specifically for him. Yeah. You have to type in, like, Ronald Acuna Sr. or something like that. We're also getting a lot of Troy Glouse cards. Mike Piazza. Cool Mike Piazza there. Matt Holiday prospect card. And that is actually the gold. So gold, Matt Holiday prospect card for the Colorado Rockies. Cool card there. Ryan Church. You wonder how many homers he hit in his career? 2001 Bowman, 20 years after. <laughs> yeah, that's kind of funny. Yeah, we're pretty much uh, we're pretty much opening the entire the entire childhood of uh, the prospects and 2020 Bowman stuff. <laughs> Douglas. Carl Crawford prospect. For the uh, for the Rays, oh, that's cool. Joe Maurer, uh, 
uh, Joe Maurer prospect card for the Minnesota Twins. <laughs> it's kind of cool. Joe Maurer on the Twins. Is Joe Maurer a Hall of Famer? I haven't looked at uh, his stats enough to know. Ronald Cunha Sr. played 11 years, 8 in the minors, 3 in various unaffiliated leagues, and hit 18 home runs. <laughs> yeah, the uh, that one is a kind of a sweet card. He also pitched for a year a team called the <laughs> Huntsville Soul in 2006. These are kind of stuck together a little bit. D'Angelo Jimenez. BGS 9.5 for that matter, list of 200 bucks. Huh. Yeah, you never know. It looked like it was actually in decent shape. Um, so that might be a, a decent card for the Twins. Ooh, there's a cool one. There's a nice card. That is a, a gold thick stock. Thick stock Derek Jeter for the New York Yankees. So that's the, uh, it's got like the gold facsimile autograph for the New York Yankees. So nice one there. Yeah, I know one thirty point um <laughs> Eric Burns. One thirty point um there's another Matt Holiday. eBay uh, has been cracking down on that kind of stuff and they uh they banned one thirty point and uh like that sold for app as well. Yeah, when you hit 18 bombs in 11 years, you got to celebrate every time. Yeah, and that holiday was a... Uh, he was good on the Cardinals, and he was also good on the Rockies. Yeah, if I could get this thing to open. There we go. I'm pretty sure um, we have... Uh, I forgot to say it in the description, but I'm pretty sure 2003 and 2004 are also... Or no, maybe they might they might be regular boxes. I'll have to see. I don't remember if they were HTA or just the regular stuff. Sean Green, Luis Gonzalez. Yeah, him and Tulo. Yeah, that was pretty fun back then. Oop. Dropped a Mike Snyder card. Chad Petty. <laughs> Getting a couple cool uh Twins prospects, Justin Morneau prospect card for the Twins. Alright, so we got six more packs of this. Hopefully we can, uh, we haven't really gotten too many good hits yet. We've hit in some decent stuff, but nothing, uh, nothing crazy, so let's see if we can get something else here. Roto Alomar. Mike Sweeney. Carlos Silva. Yeah, nothing, uh, nothing crazy yet. I think it was pretty clutch for the uh, 16 or 17 Yankees. <laughs> yeah. Man, some of these packs. I have to use like a. Ryan Klesko, Carlos Delgado, Andy Pettit, Roy Oswalt, Corey Patterson. I'm pretty sure these are all. I'm pretty sure all the Blues are just prospects. Jason Worth getting a lot of Jason Worth cards. Yep, there's Tim Raines Jr. It's fun, funny seeing the. Uh, there's a Chase Utley. 
I think this was one of the better ones. Uh, Chase Utley. Um, I guess he, uh, whether you like him for sliding into second base or not, that's still a, a pretty good prospect right there. Chris Duffy. Matt Holiday was perfect, pain in the ass, end of the year, end of the career Yankees, yeah. He did kind of fit that role pretty well. <laughs> Alright, let's see here. Raul Mondesi, Scott Rowland, Adrian Beltre. I wonder if they're, I don't think they're, did they just, uh, when did they introduce, um, numbered cards because we haven't seen any number cards yet have we Johnny Damon Jack Wilson yeah I don't think we've seen any number cards I'm pretty sure um, I know 2005 Bowman was the first year that they put in like um, prospect not prospect uh, super fractors like I was saying but I'm not sure about numbered cards I didn't collect uh, I didn't collect back in 2002, so. Mike Sweeney. There's a Dirk Jeter for the Yankees. Craig Biggio. Johnny Damon for the Red Sox. Uh, another Jose Reyes. This one's the Jose Reyes prospect. Boy, he looks pretty skinny right there. Look at young Jose. <laughs> Aaron Cook. Adam Wainwright. <laughs> Look at this card. That's actually kind of cool. Jose Bautista. Look at how young uh, a young Jose Bautista back when he was on the Pirates. That's pretty funny. He only had five home runs. Five home runs in his minor league career at this point in 2002. <laughs> That's pretty funny. All right, two more packs, and then we'll move along to 2003 Bowman. I'm pretty sure we get. Um, I'm pretty sure we get two autographs in 2003 Bowman. I'm pretty sure we're guaranteed two autos. So, starting to move along the. Uh, boy, these ones are really stuck together. Move along the uh, the hit quantity. Mark Mulder. Josh Beckett. Josh Beckett for the Marlins. Hank Boylock. Marlon Bird. Willie Mo Pena. Uh, Brandon Phillips for the Expos, which is now the Nationals prospect card. Alright, last pack of the 2002 Bowman. And then we'll move along to 2003. Ken Griffey Jr. Ooh. It landed like this, so it's <laughs> it's still fine. Ken Griffey Jr. on the Cincinnati Reds. Greg Maddox. A-Rod. A couple nice cards there. Larry Walker. All right, last little stack of prospects right here. Jake Peavy. Prospect. Eric Burns, Gold, uh, Mark Deshera. It's kind of a cool one. And oh, that's actually a nice one. Uh, David Wright for the New York Mets. I want to say I was looking at this one too. Uh, like a PSA ten of this one actually goes for sixty, seventy bucks. So I'm, I mean, I'm not saying that it would, uh, yeah, it looks like it's got a little bit of something there, but still a cool card nonetheless, probably a couple bucks. All right, moving along to 2003 Bowman. 2003 Bowman. So it uh, looks like we got 
two relics or autographs in each box. So let's see what we can pull in this one. Yeah, okay. Captain uh, Captain America prospect card to, uh, to end it off there. Ooh, looks like we got a... Uh, what is this? This is like a super thick... This is like a super thick box topper card or something like that. We'll see what that is. We got a uh, <laughs> complete... That's kind of funny. We got a complete scouting report. Chad Hutchinson. Maybe I'll throw in some of these funny like box topper sort of deals. Ooh, and Nick, we got a we got another sticker for you if you want it. <laughs> so 2003, 2003 Bowman, empty box. We also got this pretty thick uh, box topper on top. So let's see. This is like a it's a pretty thick card. So let's see what we can get in this. Oh, it's like a, it's like an encased card. Huh. It's just like a cased card there, but we got another one of these redemptions. This one expired in 2004, unfortunately, but I guess they just put those in all the early boxes. Um, Daryl Rassner. Uh, that one is actually numbered, so I guess they're starting to incorporate numbered cards. That'll be going out to the Expos, which is the, um... This is pretty much just like a one touch. This is like an early one touch. But uh that was number 222 out of 250. Daryl Rassner. So that will be going out to um the Nationals. We need some Eucalyptus in this box. <laughs> yeah. Is he uh is he in 20 2003 stuff? Yeah, we will see. Looks like we might have something there. It might just be a, uh, it might just be a thick card. Uh, again, we do get um, one autograph, or we get um, two autographs or relics, pretty much. Tom Glavin, Paul Mero, Eric Riggs. Uh, that's just a uh, a thick Bowman first year card. Big guys in this are Hanley, McCann, and Euclidus. Oh, that'd be cool. That is a kind of cool card. Man Ram. Manny being Manny being Manny for the Red Sox. And they're uh yeah, and they're not stuck together, which is nice. And we should actually get like some uh some hits and stuff. So I think we're finally we're finally getting into the stuff where we get like some actually potentially actually some quality hits. And stuff like that. You can get some good prospects in that older Bowman stuff, but for the most part, um, they didn't really. Uh, there's a cool Frank Thomas and Barry Bonds, and this might be an autograph because it has a sticker on it, but we will see. I'm going to flip it. And good luck, everyone. I think this is an autograph. Let's see if we can recognize the guy. Detroit Tigers. Do we recognize that guy? Does anyone know who that Detroit Tiger is? <laughs> I have no idea. That is going to be an on-card uh, first bone auto of Andy Van Hecken. Andy Van Hecken. I don't think he ever turned out to be anything. Yeah, I'm not sure. I'm not familiar with this guy. Congratulations, you have received an Andy Van Hecken autograph. It's kind of cool nonetheless. A thick card. Yeah, kind of cool. Nice little older, uh, older card there. Yeah, these ones are definitely not stick to stuck together, so it's nice to uh, Sydney Poison. David Cash, Daniel Cabrera. Yeah, not 
Not the uh, the guy we were looking for there. <laughs> oh, right when I say they're not uh, they're not stuck together. Of course, this pack is kind of stuck together. Jason Perry, John Nelson. Rich Arulia, Jay Gibbons, Omar Vizquel, Mark Pryor. He's probably wondering if anyone's pulling his own autographs out of hobby boxes yet. I'm probably the uh, the first guy to pull his autograph in like probably like ten years or something like that. Want to know when the last time someone has pulled a. Andy Van Haken autograph. Gary Harris. And this was also the first time that they put like the uh like the first Bowman uh, the first Bowman logos up top. So they got like that gold foil stamping up there. So I think that was the first year that they started to incorporate that kind of stuff. Yeah, someone needs to do a where is he now? Hey what's up Custer? Uh nothing crazy. Uh, we're only on the third box though, so um, got a couple uh, a couple hits and such, but nothing. Uh, <laughs> Dwayne Bacon, that's a uh, kind of thick stock for the Cubs. <laughs> Sup, Maxwell. CC Sabathia, another. Uh, I think that's our fourth CC Sabathia prospect card. So it'll be going out to the Indians again. Barry Zito. Uh, Barry Zito prospect card. Thick cut bacon. Yep. Nomar Garcia Para. <laughs> you, you missed my breaks? Yeah. I'll try to do some cheaper ones. I'm coming up pretty soon. Uh, Nomar Garcia Para for the Boston Red Sox. That's the uh, the thick stock. Gold parallel. So Brickner, that'll be going out to you. <laughs> I think isn't this the auto that we got? Is this the auto we got? Yeah, this is the uh this is the auto that we got. He had a three RA. Five games in uh two thousand two. Oh look, we got a uh Brickner random stat of the night. Andy Van Hecken's first career start was a complete game. Shutout against the Indians on September 3rd, 2002. He then proceeded to lose his next four starts and never made it back to the majors. <laughs> Did he really? That's funny. Well, I guess the uh, someone's getting an uh, Andy Van Hecken autograph anyways. These ones are kind of stuck together a little bit too. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> Brickner's, uh, Brickner's coming in clutch with the random stats of the Knights. Uh, first Bowman of Qingming Wang... I think he was supposed to be a pretty good prospect, wasn't he? For the Yankees. First Bowman of him. Again, it's got that little first Bowman foil stamp there. <laughs> I like this card. I like Big Richie. Big Richie Sexton. Back when he was on the uh, the Brewers. He had a crazy long home run when he was on the Brewers. It was like 500-something feet. Wing was a stud for a while. Yeah, that one is kind of cool. Dan Heron. He was still pitching for a while. He was on the, what, Athletics for a while. Well, that's kind of cool. How about a Hanley first Bowman? So Hanley Ramirez first Bowman card. That's actually kind of cool. Hanram. He was fun to watch. He was he was super fast with the uh, the Marlins. He was on the Marlins, right? I'm pretty sure. <laughs> yeah, now that is who we're looking for. Uh, Brian McCann also. That's also another another good one. So it'll be going off to the Atlanta Braves. First Bowman of Brian McCann. One of the, uh, the good catchers for them. Was that really what it was? <laughs> yeah, Custer Custer comes in the uh the room and starts doing a starts uh bringing in the Red Sox mojo. 
First Bowman of Jose Contreras. Rafael for call. Annie Munoz. Oh, that's kind of cool. Is that a uh, prospect card? Oh, no, this is just a uh, this is the veteran card, but kind of cool for the Blue Jays. Roy Holiday. Pedro Martinez for the Red Sox. Pedro is so good. Yeah, R.I.P. to the uh, the Doc Holiday. Quincy Carter, Gary Harris, Gary Harris, <laughs> yeah, and there's another Red Sox, alright, let's see what else we can pull in here. Bernie Williams. It's kind of cool. Chris Fallon. <laughs> yeah, that'd be uh that'd be funny if all of these cards had autos. <laughs> David De Jesus, Tyler Martin first Bowman. Bobby Abreu. So again, in this uh, in this box, we are still looking for, I believe, uh, one auto or relic still left in this box. So that should be good. Tory Hunter. It's kind of cool. <laughs> damn auto! <laughs> damn auto carrot. <laughs> Yeah, Bobby Abreu, another pain in the ass, late career Yankee. Uh, this could be something. I think this might be a relic. So this might be our relic. <laughs> Stupid auto vegetables. Bobby Abreu still holds the record for most pitches seen per late appearance for a career. <laughs> Alfonso Soriano and our relic, John Buck. John Buck for the uh, Houston Astros. He had an okay career. I remember him. <laughs> Good old John Buck. Futures game. Uh, little patch right there. <laughs> Nolan Ryan first Bowman. Yeah. Hopefully we can uh, we can pull a Nolan Ryan first Bowman right here. Is that the announcer? <laughs> Josh Beckett, Brandon Phillips, Washburn, <laughs> Joe Buck. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> Joe Buck, the announcer. Hall of Famer, Joe Buck. Oh, my gosh. I still can't believe there's a Pudge Rodriguez. I think that's just a, a veteran Pudge Rodriguez, though. Yeah, I can't believe, uh, <laughs> I can't believe Joe Buck is in the Hall of Fame. I just don't think that's really funny. Drafted by the Astros. Never played for them. Interesting. Kind of like Jared Kelnick. Jared was drafted by the Mets, but he never played for them. Nomar Garcia Para for the Red Sox. Getting a lot of Troy Glouse cards as well. John Buck debuted in 2004, and John Buckley debuted in 1890, and that's it for John Bucks. <laughs> Thank you for that. That's a, a good stat, Brickner. Oh, that's kind of cool. That is a uh, actually a nice hit right there. Um, that is a second-year Albert Pujols uh, gold foil, a little bit off-center, but uh, that's the thick stock. So you can see that's kind of like a, a relic thickness. So gold parallel Albert Pujols second year for the Cardinals. So that's a nice one. Ian 
Eli Whiteside. He was on the Cubs for a while. All right, so we got about eight more packs in this, and we'll move on to 2004. Actual fun stat, John Buck was drafted two picks after Matt Holliday. Was he really? <laughs> Phil Nevin. Derek Lowe. A little bit of damage on that one right there on the uh, the bottom. But uh, for the Red Sox, Derek Lowe. A.J. Burnett for the Marlins. Actually, is that a prospect card or is that... I guess it's just a normal prospect card. I thought that was his uh, prospect, but... <laughs> yeah, trim, trim that baby up. PSA 10, no problem. <laughs> yeah, I'll just get out... I'll get out my scissors and try to uh, fix it up for you guys. There's a cool card. Second year Ichiro. We didn't get an Ichiro in the 2001 box, but... Uh, a cool second year Ichiro right there. Roger Clemens, Brian Wright. Yeah, I do like that with the with his cards. They always just say Ichiro instead of a uh, instead of saying something else like that. Just says his, it just says his name right there. I think that's kind of cool. <laughs> oh boy, look at this one. We got a... We got a thick... Bartolo Colon, because Bartolo Colon is a thick man. <laughs> Bartolo Colon. <laughs> I'm going to sleeve that up just because. For these, that's, I didn't know he played for the White Sox. I guess he played for the White Sox in a uh, <laughs> case hit right here. I guess he played for the White Sox in uh, 2002. I had no idea he ever played for them. I remember him playing for the Indians, you know, back in like the 90s and stuff, but... I didn't know he played for uh, for them. Andy Pettit. Nomo for the Dodgers. A young K-Rod. Remember K-Rod? He played for a lot of teams. <laughs> yeah, I, I guess I guess not Custer. Yeah, it's always always nice to get a, a big sexy. Matthew Peterson for the Mets. Travis Ishikawa. He was the guy that hit the uh that walk off home run. Um I don't remember what year it was, but uh he was the guy that hit the walk off home run right for the Giants. I wanna say. Like back in uh, I don't remember what year that was. Get all my years mixed up sometimes. Bartolo played for the White Sox in 2003, and he led the league in complete games. Did he really? I kind of want to say it was... Was it 2012? I know it had to be an even year, right? Because they always won the uh, the championships or the World Series on even years. I want to say, and I think they I think they won it that year. Yeah, he's a local guy, I think, yeah. At least local to uh, to Washington, I want to say. There's a cool early Chipper Jones for the Atlanta Braves. Jeremy Bonderman. <laughs> Look at this prospect card. He's just sitting on a bucket. Taking a dump, sitting on a bucket. Jeremy Bonderman. <laughs> uh, Chan Ho Park. Razor imploding. Yeah, I want to say it was it was what seven to uh, it was seven to two last I checked, right? I want to say it was seven to two last I checked, but I don't remember uh, what the uh, the last update was or whatnot. Is it still seven to two? Okay. 
All right, so we got uh, three more packs right here, and then we'll get into twenty or two thousand four Bowman. Orlando Hudson got a Ken Griffey Jr. coming up soon. That's going to be the thick stock Ken Griffey Jr. for the Cincinnati Reds. Eric Reed. I thought this was like the same picture for a second, but it's different guys. They're both from the Twins, though. They took them in, like, the exact same jerseys and bats and stuff. It's kind of funny. But, uh, anyways. All right, two more packs. Yeah, that's true, I guess. I was thinking of it as an early chipper, but, um, <laughs> yeah, it's, uh, that's, you're right on that one. Garrett Anderson. Kevin Euclid, yeah, I guess it's kind of more like a later chipper. Probably should have said that. Kevin Euclid, I think that's uh, first Bowman of Kevin Euclid, so that's kind of cool. So we didn't hit an auto of him or uh, Hanley, but we did get a couple cool cards for the Red Sox. <laughs> side by side. Euke. Nice little Kevin Euclid. I always loved Kevin Euclid's batting stance with his bat all up like that. Yeah, Brick Brickner talked it into existence. Shane Victorino, Mike O'Keefe, Jorge Posada, good old Big Richie, Bobby Brayu, a second year Albert Pujols. So we hit the gold, second year Albert Pujols, and the uh, the base. And to finish it off, what better way than Big Sexy? Alright, let's move along to 2004 Bowman. So we also have two relics or autographs in this box. <laughs> Delman Young is on the, the front of this box. So we'll see uh, what we can pull in this one. Got to pop out. Yeah, it's all good, Custer. I will see you later. <laughs> yeah, Custer pops on and he, uh, he gets you some some mojo there. Okay, let's see here. So we have another uncirculated card, which technically aren't all the cards uncirculated if they're already in packs. Catching up. <laughs> does does Phil Hughes have autos in this? That'd be kind of funny. Get a Phil Hughes prospect auto. All right, let's start it off with the the box topper twenty or not twenty fourteen two thousand four uncirculated. Yeah, I, I think it actually will probably take five hours. Um, there's a cool card, Mark Teixeira. So that is. Kind of, I think it's a white parallel, I want to say, and that is numbered out of 245. So Texas Rangers Mark Teixeira. So that's kind of a cool one. Comes with a free uh, old school one touch. <laughs> and again, our uh, our expired redemption. This one expired in 2004, unfortunately. All right, 2004 Bowman. I'm pretty sure they have uh, they have chrome autographs. So this might be the first year that they have chrome autographs and other parallels and such. So we should be starting to we should be starting to pick it up with maybe some uh, some parallels and such like that. So we will see. Yeah, the checklist this far back aren't super solid. <laughs> one eleven, his jersey number, eBay one of one. Yes, thank you. Carl Crawford. I want to say um, Andrew McCutcheon. I want to say Andrew McCutcheon was on this checklist. I want to say Espino. That's a uh, one of the thick gold cards. Fernando Cortez. 
Tim Stauffer for call. Derek Lee. You think he's in uh, in draft picks and prospects? Okay. Well, our next box, uh, the box right here is 2005 uh, draft picks and prospects. So I guess maybe he's not in there, but some other guys might be in there. Chris Woodward, the dude that uh, was talking about the unwritten rules. <laughs> Ryan Howard. Oh, that's a uh, Ryan Howard first Bowman. Is that, wait, no, that's not Ryan Howard. That's Kevin Howard. I thought it was, I just saw red and I thought it was Ryan Howard. But nope, it's Kevin Howard. So that's some random dude. Marlon Bird for the Phillies. Uh, thick stock gold. Felix Fernandez and Yachty. Yeah, that'd be <laughs> Kevin Millar, MLB Network. Johnny Damon, Paul Merrow. Brooks Conrad. Look at good old Brooks Conrad. First year for the Astros. Andrew Jones. Not Phil Hughes, but Luke Hughes. Gil Mesh. I remember Gil Mesh. You hit a Felix Auto in this? Yeah, that'd be kind of cool. You guys think Felix is a. Uh, is this like a mini card? This might be something. Oh, is this a freaking redemption? I think this might be a redemption. Ugh. Well, we've hit our first redemption, unfortunately. I'm pretty sure. Gosh dang it. Well, it's a redemption card. At least it's no one, uh, it's no one good. Matt Moses. So it is a redemption card. Expired in 2006. So I definitely don't think that's good. But at least it's not someone that's like, uh, yeah, expired by just about um, 15 years. Heading to the twin spot, okay. Holiday. Delman Young. <laughs> Send it in for greeting, yeah. That'd be kind of funny. I'm telling you, we're hitting a ton of Troy Glouse for whatever reason. I don't know why. That's actually kind of a cool card. Nomo for the Dodgers. Uh, thick stock gold. First year. Kurt Schilling, Gary Sheffield. Who's that last guy? Alright, continue along with this. Skip Shoemaker, or Schumacher, Shoemaker, Schumacher, uh, Cardinals, first Bowman, Melvin Mora, <laughs> Golden Gatto for that one, <laughs> Luis Castillo, dude just chilling in the shorts on some random bleachers, Rob Dejada. <laughs> All right, to speed up, uh, speed up this these packs right here. Let's go ahead and uh, just open up a couple of them right here, so we just can just get a big stack of them and then go through them. I think that'll uh, speed up because I think 2005, 2005 Bowman is like the first stuff that you can get some pretty nice stuff in. So. Vegas Golden Knights. Stole their color scheme from these <laughs> from these gold inserts, yeah. <laughs> All right, so we got a nice jumbo pack now. Joaquin Arias, Mickey Hall. 
Who is this? John Santor. That's interesting. Jeremy Bonderman. Tom Glavin. Ching-Ming Wang. For the New York Yankees. Fixed dot gold. Thanks a lot for wrecking, for wrecking what? Carlos Sosa, Vernon Wells. The others were red. <laughs> now green has what you seen. Wells. Oh yeah, that's true. We saw blue. Yeah, blue, green, and red. I think it must be for. Uh, I th I think what it is is like. The the first the first Bowmans are blue. The prospects, is this a prospect? Yeah, the prospects are green and then the uh, the veterans are red. I'm pretty sure that's how it goes for like the thick cards. Piazza. Todd Helton. Derek Jeter, getting a few nice Derek Jeter cards. Joaquin Arias. See what else we got. Troy, I'm telling you, we're getting a ton of Troy Glaus stuff. This one does have a little bit of a corner issue up there. We're getting some more Troy Glaus for the uh, the Angels. Adam Dunn, good old Adam Dunn. All right, let's do the same thing with a couple more of these packs, and then uh, I'm pretty sure. 2005 Bowman is a, is a decent year for the prospects. So we will do that right after this. gotten here. So again, I think we should still be looking for one more hit um, in this box. So let's see if we can pull something like that. Um, we do have a little something, so this might be uh, something coming up right there. We will see. Randy Wolf, Zito, and our hit. Is it a hit? What is this? Congratulations, looks like it's another features game gear. This is going to be Guillermo, Guillermo Cortez, Court or whatever you say the guy's name. What team is this guy for? Uh, Toronto Blue Jays. There's the old Blue Jays logo right there, so that'll be going out to the Toronto Blue Jays on that one. Let's see what else we got in here. Javier Guzman, Jonathan Fulton. Giles Burley Jacobson Keffinger Irvin Santana first Bowman that's kind of cool I think he follows me on Twitter I think he pretty much follows like everyone on Twitter though <laughs> Irvin Santana first Bowman Greg Maddox Tall Jenkins, Brooks. Kurtos might have been <laughs> slick with the glove behind the plate because he had a career average over 10 years of whopping 199. Did he really? Yeah, he must have been a, just a good defensive catcher. There's another Rocco Bar Baldelli. Aubrey Huff, Posada, Jason Frazier. Kendall, Raul Banez, and Jamie Moyer. All right, last couple packs right here, and then we'll move it along to 2015, or not 2015, 2005 Bowman Chrome draft picks. And there are some uh, some Chrome stuff in there, so we'll start to get a look at the some more of the Bowman Chrome stuff. Lopez, Carnacion, Zach Duke. He was a, a decent pitcher, relief pitcher for a while. Joe Maurer. Prospect, I think that's a prospect. Michael Young. 
Alright, let's open up these last couple right here. And then we should be good to go. So again, guys, um, I am breaking this into four parts. So we just have one more box of 2005 Bowman. So I'm going to open up that 2005 Bowman. Then I'm going to shoot a recap video of everything that we pulled, post that, and then go live again for the uh, the next year, the next uh, stage of years, I should say. So I'll probably be on here for a while, but again, I will. Uh, we will start getting into some of the better years right here. I have to take out this gold one. Mm -hmm. Frazier, Pena, Self, Aubrey Huff, Miguel Perez, Fulton, Ken Griffey Jr. <laughs> if he spelled that name that way, <laughs> that'd be kind of funny. Jim Edmonds, Scott Pesednik. Sidnick. Warren Madrigal. I wonder if he's Nate related to uh, Nick Madrigal. Javi Lopez. There's our uh, our good friend Bartolo. We'll leave uh, we'll leave Bartolo in the background just to give us some mojo. Alrighty. So we have one more box of this little part right here. So we're getting into some of the chrome stuff. So 2005 Bowman draft picks and prospects. So two chrome cards in every pack. Um, we should get, I'm pretty sure there's one um, chrome first Bowman auto in here. I wanna say, I'm not 100% sure, but I'm pretty sure there is. So good luck everyone on this. <laughs> yeah, good idea with Bartolo. He'll be our little good luck charm from here on out. Alright, so 2005 Bowman draft picks and prospects. <laughs> so good luck everyone on this. Where did I find these different products? Just kind of all over. It's really been um, no no one way, just tons of different places. Some of them uh, in person. You know Escobar, he was a decent player for a little while. You know Escobar. <laughs> There's an Edwin Encarnacion uh, first Bowman prospect card. That's pretty funny. Encarnacion. Jeff Francoeur, look at that guy. <laughs> Jeff Francoeur prospect. Sean West. And our chromes are going to be a chrome of Robinson Cano for the Yankees and Mike Costano. So this is the first year that they had parallels. I'm not sure if it has the odds and stuff like this, but um, they do have parallels and such. Zimmerman, Ellsbury, McCutcheon, Braun, Stephen Drew, Nelly Cruz, Verlander. Yeah, there are a couple decent names in here, so we'll see if we can pull something like that. Do we? Oh my gosh, we got a freaking redemption again. Ugh. Well, um, our autograph out of this box is going to be a redemption. Kind of sucks again, but um, hopefully we don't um, pull it again. Let's see what it is going to be. Let's see. You are due to receive, but we're not going to receive anything. Aflac insert. Aflac insert card. Oh, this might not even be an autograph. I'm pretty sure this is not even an autograph. I think this is just a random card that they put in. Uh, so that's good news. I think our autograph might still be coming. Yeah, unless they didn't have autographs this year, but um, I don't know. We'll see. Drew Butera, first Bowman Chrome. 
forever the backup catcher. <laughs> Chaz Rowe, um, he's on the uh, he's a decent pitcher on the Rays now, isn't he? First bowman of him. So we're starting to see some of the guys that are. Uh, oh, we got a refractor. We got a refractor of the New York Yankees. Man, if that's a that would have been cool. First year refractor. Brent Cox. If that was a uh, refractor of someone, a first year of one of the better guys, that would have been pretty cool. I don't think those are numbered, but um, that's a cool looking card. Andy LaRoche. Cody Allen. Oh, there is a hit. So there is a relic. A relic of Nerniado Nieve. I'm not sure if I'm butchering that or not, but a relic of him. Oh, really? Okay, so that's good. So I guess um, I guess the Aflac isn't anything we're really missing out on too much. Josh Greer, Delman Young prospect, Brandon Wood prospect, and Mark Tehan. So, oh, we got another refractor. I never heard of that dude. But for the Dodgers, a refractor for the Dodgers, DJ Holton and Brett Hayes. It's Fernando Nieve. Okay. <laughs> what did I say? Did it say Fernando and I was just butchering it? I don't know. I, mean, I probably butchered it anyways. Drew Thompson. Travis Wood, first Bowman. <laughs> Francisco Liriano. He was a good pitcher for a while. Uh, thick stock um, gold. <laughs> oh, good. Nieve had a great... Uh, couple weeks for the Mets in 2009 where he had a, a 2.98 ERA over 8 starts and that pretty much <laughs> is it for his career success I think I said Nerando <laughs> I probably did <clears throat> I probably did yeah another uh, Francisco Liriano Trevor Bell good old Jeff Clement and Troy uh, Patton. We got another uh, refractor. So I think we got another refractor back there. <laughs> Russell Martin. He hasn't really changed too much. Russell Martin on the Dodgers. Mitch Boggs. Irvin Santana. Oh, that's actually really cool. How about a uh, Troy Tulowitzki first Bowman gold thick stock? So for the Colorado Rockies, too low. And behind that we have a refractor. Is going to be Bo Jones for the Braves. Yeah, this Tulo is a uh, is a pretty uh, cool card right there. Definitely a cool one. Chris Young. Oh, there we go. How about a first Bowman? of Justin Verlander for the Detroit Tigers. That's a nice hit. First Bowman of Justin Verlander. That's a cool card. 
So Detroit Tigers will get that one. Tyler Hurnow, Zach Ward. Sam LaCure. Clay Buckholtz, uh, Clay Buckholtz, um, first Bowman. Fun fact about Clay Buckholtz, I picked him up in fantasy once, and he gave up nine runs against the Yankees. <laughs> uh, Chaz Rowe, first Bowman Chrome, and Josh Barfield. Alright, let's see what else we can get in here. How about a Robbie Cano? I think that's just a veteran card. Oh no, this is a prospect card. So prospect, uh, prospect Robbie Cano. That Buckles card probably came out a couple weeks before he threw a no-hitter. Yeah, I, I bet it did. Was it in uh, 2005 that he did? So Robbie Cano for the New York Yankees. Irvin Santana and Javier. Oh, that kind of snuck up on me. That's an X-Fractor. Um, not the uh, the best name we were looking for, but um, a cool card. First Bowman of Nick Wiglap. Some Nick Nick something. I'm gonna butcher that name, but that's numbered to 250. 136 out of 250. So our first actually uh, numbered Bowman Chrome card. So that's good to see. We'll probably start picking it up um, pretty heavily with. Uh, next couple breaks and stuff. We also had a first Bowman Chrome of Jay Bruce. Sounds cool. Drew Butera, Andy LaRoche, McPherson, Yadier Molina. I think that's just a uh, yeah, it's just a veteran card. Uh, Chase Headley, first Bowman. Trayvon Robinson. He was supposed to be pretty good. And an Edison Volquez. Yeah, let's see if we can see, maybe try to find some of the uh, some of the better first Bowman Chrome cards. That'd be kind of cool. <laughs> Brett Gar <laughs> Brett Gardner first Bowman Chrome, or not first 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 Bowman? That's kind of funny. New York Yankees. Jose Bautista back when he was on the Pirates. Kevin Thompson, Chris Robinson, and Daryl Jones. I'm just going to do a couple of these like this, just so we can get a uh, nice little stack of them and then go through them. everyone on this <laughs> Shin Tzu Chu back and he's on the Mariners prospect Clay Buckholtz first Bowman Dallas McPherson and Travis Wood Same dude, back to back. Baltimore Orioles and a, ooh, I think we just hit a uh, refractor autograph. I think this is a refractor autograph. So that's actually pretty rare. I said the first Bowman refractor autograph. So I'm gonna actually save that one. Let's save it to the end of these packs right here. So first Bowman refractor autograph. Those are pretty rare. 
for 2005. Dumont, Aaron Hill. All right, let's open up these last couple packs right here, and then we'll go over the autograph. See what else we got right here. Sanchez, Egan to Heron, Tavares, Owings and Fowler, Snell, Melky Cabrera, <laughs> first Bowman of Melky Cabrera, Drew Thompson. <laughs> there is a uh, how about a first uh, first Bowman Gold thick stock of Nelly Cruz, Nelson Cruz, back when he was on the uh, Milwaukee Brewers? BJ Upton, Tavares, and Egan. Uh, Jay Bruce, first Bowman. Edison Volquez, first Bowman Gold. Micah Owings, Snyder. Fosto Carmona, a uh, Hanley Ramirez prospect. <laughs> Watching this brings back memories, yeah. Tyler Green, Josh Wall. All right, so we, uh, last card of the break right here. There was something else on the back, too. Uh, card on the back was a Zach Duke, but we do have a first Bowman Chrome Auto. So good luck, everyone, on this. First Bowman Chrome Auto, Washington Nationals. Oh, Ryan Zimmerman. That was a huge hit back in the day. That is still a really cool card. But let me tell you, this was a huge hit back in the day. That was uh, he was the number one overall pick because they were the expand. They were the uh, the team that went. Yeah, that was the guy to get. So that is a uh, a pretty cool card. So Ryan Braun on card auto. That one is numbered uh, 136 out of 500. It looks pretty clean too. So it looks pretty clean. So that's a nice one. Nice uh, nice refractor shine right there. All right. So that will uh, again. I was just doing a 2000 to 2005. So that'll do it for this video. So that was a nice one to end on it right there. Uh, I'm gonna shoot a quick recap video and then post that. It should just take like two minutes to upload. So I'll probably be back on in about 15 minutes. I will. If you go to over to my Twitter and put on the notifications, you'll get a notification uh, when we go back live. And so I'll start back going live with 2006 to 2011. So we'll go 2006, 7, 8, 9, 10, and 2011 Bowman Platinum. So cool Ryan Zimmerman right there to end it. I'm going to go ahead and sign off this video for now, shoot a quick recap like I was saying, upload that, and then I'll be live in probably about 15 minutes. So I will see you guys in a little bit.